question is to demonstrate how to record provision for doubtful debts in the statement of financial position. After you have done the provision for doubtful debts account, like we have we have done here, after you have also maybe shown the transfer to the income statement, like what is here. Yeah, it is also uh, possible that the examiner may ask you to transfer to the statement of financial position. So we want to demonstrate how this is done, starting with 2015. So 2015, right, we know that uh, provisions affect trade receivables, and trade receivables are found under current assets. So our sub subtitle here will be current assets and then obviously under current assets you will be having other current assets like inventory but we are more interested in this one. So the trade receivables that we originally give it in the question for 2015 we are given this 5.5 so this is the figure that we want in the first column, 5,500, right? So immediately before you list other current assets, you say less provision For doubtful debts, right? Why are we lacing them here? Why are we subtracting them? It's because, um, like we said, that there is a potential that these debts may not be collected from credit customers. So, in order to show the a fair value of our trade receivable or our credit customers, we have to, de to deduct what we anticipate not to receive. And the value that we are anticipating that we are not receiving is the closing balance, which we brought down here as 165. That's the value that we want. And it is 165. So by calculator, if we subtract 165 from 550, it gives us 55335. Five, five. Right. So once you've done like this for the first year, it's done. We move on to the next year, 2015, 2016 this time. Again, we have our subtitle current assets, right? Okay. But under current assets, we are we are following the same procedure here of trade receivable less less our doubtful debts. Right. So again. We go back and check how much was the trade receivables for 2016, 6,200. So we put 6,200. But immediately we subtract the balance brought down or the new provision which is there. So the balance brought down is 186. Right, so we are decreasing by 186. So if you subtract 6200 minus 186, you get 6014. Right. And lastly, you do the same for the for 2017. So for 2017, we are just using the 
same information, the same procedure, what is changing are the values. So in 2017, our trade receivables had decreased to 4,500. So here we are reporting 4,500. And our new provision, our balance BD there, it's 135. Right, so we are putting 135 here. Right. So we subtract 4,500 minus 135, we get 43.65. Right. Once you have achieved this, you are done. This is what the question is looking for. This is what the examiner is looking for. Just to present your work like this. I hope uh, this demonstration helps you to uh, do the next activity. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, just to hit the subscription button below.